I like the word a lot, but I couldn't find an appropriate time to use it uh, in the daily conversation. Uh, and then when I read more about the word, right, it sounds good. It actually means um, doing something through art or performance um, to heal yourself. Um, and I thought, you know, it's a perfect title for it. Uh, because I was just looking for a title that fits all the work and uh, the embodiment of um, this series. On the surface level, those are all scientific drawing of your inner working of your body. Um, I took them as a reference um, for the pain, um, for the suffering or the illnesses that I was going through at uh, one point or another. Some I feel, um, some I'm still dealing with, um, and some I'm just meditating with. So every painting is very specific um, to my body set. Okay, the re um, those donut like light. Um, are paste or they're raisin on um, each and individual painting and specifically they mark a point where there's most pain or the most pain points that I find in my body. They made out of raisin and the pains that you see in it it's been collected um, throughout the years when I was working on the soil that I, the soil whom I was bleed the soil whom I bleed okay um, and I was saving up all these pain chips um, throughout and I didn't know what I want to do with it and this seems to be a perfect opportunity to combine two of my favorite um, elements and then put into one. Um, it also illuminates when you switch the lights on. Um, that feels like metaphorically um, you want to banish the pain or banish the darkness that you have inside. You. Um, correct. Normally a painting depends a lot on the artificial lighting. When you reach a gallery or in your studio, you need a particular light, natural light, artificial light um, to light it up. If not, you can't see um, all the details that you've done. But when you have a um, Painting that has its own light source is pretty independent in itself. So the three mode that we're talking about is one is without any light, um, the painting will work on its own when you turn it on. Second is without the artificial light source and you just see it for what it is. And the third mode is you have the light donut on and also the artificial light. Like. So it's dependent, interdependent and independent. Yeah, I think um, Korean is one of those mediums that is um, very direct. Um, there's no undo button. Um, you put it on and you can only layer it. Um, you cannot take away. There's, there's no control Z or anything. Um, so it's one of those crayons that are one of those materials that are more difficult. It's very direct, it's very immediate. Um, the reason why it took me almost 40 over years to get to crayon is because um, when I was growing up, we were quite poor. So when the teacher asked, when I was like, four to five years old, when we were supposed to bring crayons to school, um, I couldn't afford it, so we didn't bring any, and I end up always sketching at the sand with a tweet. And that has traumatized me throughout, and I thought it would be a good time to explore this part of it, uh, mediums that I have never used, and reason why I have never used them. So until today, right, this is my first time using crayon. Okay, so when, uh, when we look at the first painting of the skull um, is very explorative. Um, you try, you want to find its limit and where you pass the limit and where the, all the boundaries are. So you're basically fearless, um, you don't really care because you are, you are so carefree. It really takes you back to the time that um, you can paint outside of the box. As the series progressed, you got a bit serious about this, the crayon itself um, and you tend to see where you can put your skill, you draw, um, and that's when it becomes a bit more personal, I think, because you kind of conquer that fear of not using something that's new. As the series progress, right, you just take it to, uh, to another realm, a realm where, where you're a bit more comfortable um, with the medium itself. That's when you can really push all the boundaries. Uh. I think the pain itself, the illness itself is bad enough. Um, I didn't want to make it gloomy, like say gloomy, all the neutrals, right? I just felt that using these bright colors, right, it elevate the mood a bit when people look at it, right, they ne would never make the connection that it's all about negative stuff, all the, all, all the pain points and all the illnesses and the disease. Um, it's my approach that it give it hope, right, you don't have to face it that badly. Visually, it can still be very interesting, um, very cheerful and very colorful. Mm, yeah, I think it's a long time. I think after that, that 
that bright side night lights. That's my first solo when I got back from the states. Um, and then subsequently, I did another work um, with the cars. The one that we love is the one that we destroyed most. Those are the two very prominent work that I've did with like, and ever since then, I have never touched uh, light source again or electricity through the work. And I think it's a really nice bookend between the first and, and currently that I'm, I'm working with it. It's a revisiting. I think finally I felt that I could go back more mature and, and, and look at a medium that I, I, I didn't, not to say I didn't quite master it. It's like it needs its time to breathe. It needs that gap. Uh, both of us need to grow. Um, both the collectors, um, the viewers, the market. I think everyone needs to have that, that step back um, from the work itself and then re-engage it. Because I remember during the opening night, uh, during the opening night at, at the first show, um, it was well received. I think it was critical, I think. But commercially, it was a failure, I think. I didn't sell a single work. Um, so that could be the death of me. But I think I took it very positively that um, sometimes when you don't sell work, doesn't mean the work is bad. It, it just takes time. But you have to believe in yourself. You have the confidence to say that, okay, this is the ultimate failure. What do we do from here? Are you going to swim or are you going to sing? Are you going to quit or are you going to persevere? And I'm glad it happened that way at the, my first show back in Malaysia and not like the last show. Yeah, because I think when I was doing the my, my first solo go of light source, right, uh, I didn't have much control over whether I want to turn it on and turn it off. I, and I want to surrender the control to the viewer that they could somewhat press uh, a button and they could activate, they could interact uh, with the work um, that way. And also the title is quite a, a witty and my take. Like when you switch it off, right, when it's full darkness, um, you can be anywhere. And when you turn it back on, right, you can teleport yourself. Um, you can reappear, you can do all these things um, visually. And I thought that was kind of fun in a way to elevate that. You know, we want to escape somewhere, we want to go somewhere, we want to time travel, we want to go back, we want to go forth, we want to go somewhere else, we want to appear, we want to disappear, and then we want to reappear. So that enables people to do it by just pressing a switch. Mm, I think I learned how to deal with it better. Um, I think I was just hopeful. It, in itself, it's really quite um, gloomy, I think. But it doesn't have to make it any more worse than it is. You, you can do, you can elevate, uh, you can try something about it. I think mentally, it's quite important how you handle, how you overcome, um, and how you adjust your whole lifestyles towards it. Um, so this is just part of it. And I'm still growing and I'm still learning to adapt. I think when they come right down, um, if you would leave your predisposition at the door or preconceived idea what the show is about, you get to take in a bit more. As with anything, uh, when you walk in the room, right, you're confronted with all this, this work, um, you bring your own baggage, you, you bring your own side to it, which is, which is fine. It will tell its own story. So if you would adapt to it, right, um, it evolve with what you, your previous experience, your own background, and mine, now that will make it very interesting. Alright, thank you so much for the No problem, thank you. I hope to see for more shows in the future.